All right, boys, got the new wood chipper out on the lawn route. Let's hear some uh, sound from it, and I'll be back in a minute to talk about it. Alright boys, so this wood chipper is cool. Um, it's kind of like anything in life, you know, I was a little slow with it at first, just because I didn't, you know, I don't, I didn't really understand the flow of it. Yeah, put your safety glasses on, you goose. Um, but anyway, shout out to Upscale Lawn Care, wearing his hat. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I had to get used to it at first. You kind of learn what ones, the bends of the branch don't work and stuff, which obviously I didn't know at first, and you don't know exactly which size fits. But now that I've had it for like a week or something, I took it out on my route, I'm a little bit, you know, more fluent with it. I feel like I can go through the stuff faster. Um, and uh, it does work great, man. I mean, it, it's awesome other than uh, the only downside that I've... The only thing about it that is uh, kind of annoying that I got to figure out is like you'll see a little bit here towards the end. But like, you know, because I pick up a lot of pine cones and the pine cone, the shoe, you know, it's it's not much work at all for the chipper to, um, you know, shred the pine cones, obviously. But but the the little hole in the top, not quite big enough for uh, pine cones. Like it, it, they, it works, but you got to get a stick like that and kind of help them down through there, which I don't even have pine cones in there right then, but you'll see when I go to dump this, um, bucket, um, and guys, that's what you do. That's for safety. Like don't use your hands. You take a, you get like a stick and you kind of help it down through there. Um, the pine cones and this stuff. So, um, so uh, so yeah, I don't, I can't remember, I, I don't know if I already dumped them yet no, or not, but I think I'm about to, but, but anyway, you gotta kinda help the pine cones and stuff down in that top hopper, um, which is kind of annoying because, like, you know, I don't know, they're just like, the pine cones here are kinda big, and so, if you can get them down in there, it shreds them easy, but, so once you dump it, here I go, um, you know, I use a big stick now, but, um, you got to kind of help them down through. There you go. Yeah. And so you got to kind of do that. It's kind of annoying. It does work. It's kind of annoying. But even if I don't use it for my pine cones, even if I dump my pine cones in like one of those big bags I have and just dump those on the fire at the end of the day or something, it's still great just to shred all that brush that takes up a lot of room in your truck and things. So for the pine cones, uh, it does work. Um, but you just kind of got to help it, you know, you got to help it more than I want to help it. <laughs> so here's me just trying to, you know, just trying to get the pine cones down there. So I don't know. I, I do like the chipper. I'm going to keep it, you know, it's a, it's a great tool to have and I'm going to use it on, bring it on my lawn route every day. So I like it, you know, I'm still, still getting used to it a little bit, but I haven't used it a lot and I do have the flow of it down a little more now. So stay tuned. 